Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Surrounds Dance with Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about the physics behind rail guns, guys. So put down today's title, it's going to be the physics behind rail guns. This topic will be in the A-level scheme of work in the electromagnetic induction chapter, which is all about magnetic fields. Make sure you've understood that concept before watching this video, guys, because we need to have a good understanding of magnetism before understanding what's actually going on here. So, how exactly does a railgun work? So, railguns, they're really interesting. It's basically a gun that can actually shoot something out of it without the use of explosives, so not like a normal gun. How is it going to work? Well, it's to do with magnetism, guys. It is to do with magnetism. We're going to draw the following diagram, and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, so over here, you can see that I've just drawn a piece of metal. This is a piece of metal, so this is just a wire. A wire and it's fixed. It's a wire which is fixed, everyone. It's fixed. We're going to rest on top of this. So uh, another just a bit of wire, but obviously this is going to be complete fixed right now. This is just uh, an, a rod and the rod is free to move. So the other bit is fixed, so this part of the wire is fixed, but this is a rod which is free to move. So it's rod which is free to move. Free to move. Here. Okay, right, so first of all, we're going to say that let's put a magnetic field into this actual page here. So the magnetic field crosses, here we go, indicate the magnetic field is going into the page. So there we go. So let's put that down in blue over here. Um, X over here is equal to the magnetic field, magnetic field into the page into the page everyone so the magnetic field is going into the page here right now what we're going to do is this so let's say this is our starting point now so this is the start right now this is the start now what happens if we reduce the field so what happens when we reduce the magnetic field so our start point is here there's loads of field lines going into the actual page here but what happens when we reduce the field? So the field lines are going right in there right now. But if we reduce the field, what's going to happen to this system? What will happen to the system? Well, we know that from Lenz's law that the system will want to oppose the change. So we'll put it all down for us to all. So the B field is decreasing. The magnetic field is decreasing. And therefore, the system itself will induce its own magnetic field to oppose that change. Okay, yeah, so hopefully you remember that because that is Lenz's law. Make sure you understand Lenz's law obviously before watching this video here. So we know that the actual system itself is having a reduction in field. So what will it want to do? Okay, so we know that the field lines were going into the page but then it's being reduced. So you want to bring back the flux, guys. You want to bring back the flux because obviously you don't want it to change. So the induced field will be in the same direction. So here is my induced field now. There we go. Here is my induced field. So let's put that down over here. X is now the induced field created uh, due to Lenz's law. Due to Lenz's law. Okay, so that is the induced field uh, due to Lenz's law. So now look guys, we've got a field and we've got what now? What will be created? Well, when you know that when the field is created, it will cause a current to be induced. So a current will now be induced here. So let's put that down. So the field induced will cause a current. Yes, will cause a current to flow. Okay. So the field induced will cause a current to flow. Which way will that current go? Well, take out your right hand. So take out your right hand, we're going to do the right hand rule right now. So you know the field's going into the page. Which way will it go? It will go, just make sure you can see it yourself, clockwise. So the field's going in. Don't forget, the thumb is the field now, and the current will be the direction of the fingers. Field is going into the board. It will be turning around this way over here. So it will be going like this. There we go, so here's my current in the circuit. Obviously that's my wire, and now look, it can flow through that loop over here. Here's the current. So red is obviously the arrow, so red equals the current flow. Current flow in this case here. 
There we go. So now the current's going around that wire. That current is going around that wire here. And obviously, we are now going to use the left hand rule right now. Because you've got current perpendicular to a magnetic field, well, we're going to obviously get a force to be experienced here. Which way would that force be? Well, look, let's take your left hand. Field is going into the page, current is going down, therefore it moves to the right, guys. So make sure you can see that yourself. Field is going into the page, current is going down, the force is going to be over here. There we go. So yes, this movable rod, which is free to move over here, will then shoot off. And that is going to be the physics behind the railgun. So obviously that will shoot off and can be used to hit an object. That is a really interesting concept, guys. So we're able to fire something just by using magnetic fields. Uh, let's put it all down in words over here. So the field induced will cause a current to flow. So there we go, guys. So I'll put it all down now. So right from the top. So initially, we have a B field going into this system over here. Obviously, it's a wire. We have a rod which is free to move. We are going to decrease the B field. So right then, we're going to decrease that B field. So there's loads of field lines. We're going to decrease the field. Well, the system will want to oppose the change due to Lenz's law. And obviously, it will induce its own field to oppose that change. So obviously, if there were loads of field lines going into the page and you're removing it, you're decreasing it, you want to bring it back. So you want to make your own field in the same direction. So your induced field is created in the same direction, which is going to be the green over here. So now you have a field going into the page, which you have induced. You then obviously are going to induce a current because when you have the field, you're going to get a current. Which way is that current going to go? I'm going to use the right hand rule. So look, my field's going into the page. Make sure you can do it yourself. And look, the current's going clockwise. So my current will go clockwise over here, down this part of the strip, and then all the way around again. So that's my current. Look, red is the current. And therefore, if you know you've got a current passing perpendicular to a field, well, we can use our trusty left hand rule, which will cause it to fling off in this case over here. So over here, it will fling off, and this is going to be the force which is experienced by that rod. And obviously, we've now shot it out from uh, our system here, simply by reducing the field. Really, really interesting, because we were able to fire something just by using magnetic field guys. And I'm sure if you do a quick Google search, you'll find out loads of cool videos of how rail guns actually look in real life. But this is the physics behind it here. And that's it for another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. Make sure you like and subscribe to get my channel going. Ciao, ciao, goodbye, and keep up with the learning. Ciao, ciao.